All right, so if you haven't watched the previous question, uh, please start with that. So this is kind of the fast version of this. It says, what is the electron follow, uh, configuration of each of the following atoms? So again, this is the S block, this is the D block, and this is the P block. And what we're asked for is cobalt. So the first thing we obviously have to do is find cobalt on the periodic table, and cobalt is right here. So to find the electron configuration, what we do is we write the noble gas in, um, in one row above in parentheses. So this is going to start with argon. All right. Then we're going to get to the 4s12. So 4s2. Then the 3d. Remember the d is one less. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 3d7. A good way to check your work is argon accounts for 18 electrons because it's number 18 plus 2 is 20 plus 7 more is 27 which gives us cobalt all right strontium we got to find it it's down here so we write into brackets krypton so again you go to one row above okay or one period above and you write the noble gas krypton that accounts for 36 of the electrons now we're in the 5s and there are one two so 5s2 Krypton has 36, plus two more is, is 38, which is where strontium is, so you can kind of check your work here. Iodine, okay, iodine number 53. Again, one period above, or one row above, is krypton. Now, we're in the 5s, 5s2, 1, 2. Remember, the D is one less, so this is the 4D, not the 5D, and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's the 4D10, followed by we want iodine. This is now, again, the 5P. Remember in the P block, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5P5. Again, if you're not real sure how to do this, I did link a video in the description below that gives about a half an hour tutorial about how to do this. And I strongly recommend watching that because in, with a half an hour of your time, you could do this for any atom.